Okay, Kobo is going to get us kicked off at number 10, and we're going to look at the Kobo Ellipsa 2E. And specifically, we're in the Advanced Notebook feature, and within that, there is this ability to insert a math equation. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw an equation in here. Like so. And if I double tap on the box, it will convert that equation into text. So it's pretty cool. But in addition to that, it can also solve formulas. So if I go 7... So now here I have a formula with a blank for the answer. If I double tap, it will then suggest the answer in lighter text. And that's your number 10 coolest feature in an e-ink notebook app. Okay, coming in at number nine, we turn to the remarkable, and specifically, we're gonna look at the checkbox function. So let's go ahead and click on the text button there, and then we get this little icon, which we'll click on again, and down below are the check mark option. So we click on that, we'll get a check mark. We'll call this task one, and we can of course add additional items. So what's neat about this is not only do you get the graphical representation of a checkbox, but you can also interact with a checkbox by clicking on it, which not only gives you the check mark, but also strikes out the text. In addition to that, if you have access to your notes, either on your desktop application of the Remarkable software or on a smartphone, you can also interact with these checkboxes there as well, either checking or unchecking um, as needed. And that is your number nine coolest feature on a note-taking device. Okay, for number eight, our attention turns to the Big Me Ink Note Color Plus and the cool feature, the highlighter. We've got the highlighter selected here. We've got some tasks. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a highlight to signify the first task. Notice you get a perfect highlighter, a nice little tight rectangle. The highlighter happens behind the text, and of course in color, it really pops. We can take a look at some other highlighters. Like so. Just a beautiful, use of what is a very straightforward feature, but the best application of it that I've seen in any device. And this is your number eight coolest feature. Okay, coming in at number seven is screen sharing. And in particular, we're gonna focus on how Books has implemented this. There's a number of devices that do allow for screen sharing. Uh, for example, Big Me, uh, Books as well. But they use a method that requires uh, a receiving device, like a, a Chromecast device, to be able to display the information onto a screen, a TV screen or what have you. In the case of Books, this is a screen share functionality that connects to any type of web browser. So the way that it works is you're in the note-taking uh, feature you've on Wi-Fi and you click on the screen sharing button here and you're given a URL to input. You just open up the browser of your choice as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network. You input this number and then you're gonna be able to see a, a live view of what's happening on your Supernote screen on uh, within that browser. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so here we are looking at my web browser. This is Microsoft Edge, um, and we've got the screen mirroring on, obviously. And if I hover my stylus close to the screen, uh, you can see kind of that pointer there. And right on screen. So as I'm writing, it's showing up almost perfectly. And I can erase like so, and so on. So you can just imagine doing a demonstration where uh, you've got people maybe on Microsoft Teams and you've connected your device onto your screen and are sharing your screen and then you can share notes, etc. Pretty cool. Okay, that takes us to number six on our list and we're gonna stick with the Supernote Nomad and we're gonna talk about shortcuts 
to files. Now there are a number of devices that allow you to identify favorites and you can sort on favorites um, to make it easier to get to those files, but there's no process quite as elegant at what Supernote has developed. So on their device, they have this bar on the right uh, where you can swipe down. And if we do that, we get a number of features, but I'll draw your attention to the one in the middle, the quick access table. And this is where you can decide where you want your uh, favorite files to be for easy reference. So no matter what you're doing on the Supernote device at any time, you can swipe down with one stroke and your favorites will be listed there for you. That, therefore, is the number six coolest feature on an e-note-taking device. Okay, coming in at number five is handwriting search on cursive writing. And for that, we're turning our attention to the Mobiscribe Wave. I could have also used books devices for this as well. But this is basically a form of OCR where you don't need to pre-convert what you write in advance, you can still search on it. So let's take a look at what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and write the word hello there in cursive. And now we're gonna do a search within the document. And we'll start with the word hello. So you notice that it definitely picked up the word hello. It got rid of the second page, which doesn't have that text. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in the second word as well, and you can see that it's still recognizing it. So without actually having, having just written that out, uh, the search function can identify it, of course, as long as it can recognize the handwriting. Just to show another, uh, you can also convert this, of course, as well, as you can with other devices. And of course it converts it perfectly. So that is your number five coolest feature. Okay, so for the first time, we're now moving to books. And in this case, this is the book's Note Air 3C. The feature, lasso recognition. Now most devices, or I should say a number of devices, have lasso features where you can circle uh, a selection, whether it be a handwritten note, text, an image, or whatever. And then there's a number of features that you can then apply from there. And it depends on the device about what features are available. But in all cases, you normally have to select the lasso in order to make it functional. But there's a way on the books device where you don't have to select the lasso feature. And if you go down to the AI button and you ensure that lasso recognition is on, then at any time without clicking on this button, so you can see I currently have the pen selected, I can circle something and it will recognize it as if I'd used the lasso. And then of course, whatever features are available um, become available to me. In this case, I changed the writing to blue. But that's the feature, which is it allows you to quickly circle something and use the lasso feature quicker than you can on any other device. And that's why lasso recognition is the number four coolest feature. All right, for number three, we're gonna to return to our old friend the Supernote Nomad and the cool feature are called headers. So let's go ahead and create three headers fairly quickly. I'm gonna turn on the lasso tool. I'm gonna to circle this text and make that a header. And we'll just format it like that. We'll go to the next page, make this a header. And then finally, we'll go to this page and we'll just mix it up and pick a different format for the header. Okay, so now I've got three headers. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this table of contents button. And there they are. So each of these headings is a hyperlink to that page. So I can click on it and it takes me to that page. But what happens if we move a page? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm on the last page, this is my third header. I'm gonna go ahead and click on pages. I'm gonna go ahead and long press this page and I wanna move it, and we'll move it uh, before our first header. We'll say okay. All right, so now the page has been moved. Now the uh, next two pages are now after what was the last header. And let's take a look at where this now appears on the list. See, it has adjusted it and put that header 
uh, up without having to have changed anything other than moving the page itself. A super cool feature, um, only available on the SuperNote. It's our number three coolest feature. Yet again, we're sticking with books as we move to the number two coolest feature. And actually, this is shared between SuperNote and books, but we're going to start with SuperNote. And this is basically their unique ways of being able to quickly erase a feature. In books, I'm sorry, in SuperNote's case, that is the two finger erase function. So I've got it set up so that my bar here on the left, if I take my two fingers and I pop it on the bar like that, I can circle something and then it's deleted. So it's a cool way of being able to do an eraser without changing much of your flow as you're writing. You don't have to click on the eraser button. You don't have to you know, press a button or turn over your stylus. You just put your two fingers there and you erase. It's that easy. Let's take a look at Books's similar implementation of an eraser feature. All right, so now let's take a look at Books's equivalent. And I would call this an honorable mention. I think the two finger erase feature is a little more reliable, but Books has a pretty neat implementation of the eraser function as well. And we'll return to the AI button and the feature is called strike through erase. We have it on and this is basically how it works. I'm gonna scribble over this writing and it's going to go away. As you can see, it can leave artifacts. That's why the two finger erase feature is just a little bit cooler and more reliable, but still a pretty darn cool feature and worthy of sharing albeit in a subsidiary spot, the number two ranking. Okay, that takes us to the number one coolest feature and anybody who watches this channel isn't gonna be surprised by this at all. Yes, we return yet again to the super note and the feature is the star marking system. Let me show it in action and I'll explain it quickly. So let's say that I've uh, got a to-do and I wanna refer to this later. Other devices have a number of ways to do that. You can create a tag, uh, you can create a header as we saw earlier in this video, uh, but the star marking system perhaps is the most elegant way to do this of all. And all I have to do is draw a star. When the star converts to the icon, I know that it is saved by the device and I can now search on this star either within a notebook or between notebooks. And when I do the search, I can press on the results to return to this page. As easy as it was to create a star, it's easy, of course, to erase it. And it's that simplicity and elegant nature that makes the star marking system the coolest feature of any e-ink note-taking device.